Carter, uh, no, I dare I, you. I dare okay, you. I, hit, I, dare I, hit, you. I, I fucking, fucking dare you. It's fucking recording. It's recording? Yeah, okay. Right. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Backlog Banter. This is impromptu. <laughs> I just bumped my camera. It was an accident. I'm taking my glasses off. I'm fucking sweating. It's gonna be a, well, this is going to be a speedy one. All right. This is a, this is a speed this round is discussion about Animal Crossing one. New Horizons. I'm, I am the biggest Animal Crossing fan I know. Um, I don't like Animal Crossing New Horizons very much. I've played, for context, Animal Crossing GameCube, Animal Crossing New Leaf, fucking Daobutsu no Mori on the N64. My cartridge is back there somewhere. My N64 is in front of there. I love this series. Um, Animal Crossing New Horizons is a very well-assembled video game that is not a very good Animal Crossing game. For me, this is, this, the, uh, people make this argument about Breath of the Wild, that Breath of the Wild is a great game, but not a great Zelda game. And while I respect that, I don't agree because I just think it's such a fucking wonderful game and it involves Zelda in the right way. But this is, this is my... That's exactly like New Horizons. No, listen. It makes fucking, Animal fucking, Crossing fun and it gives it shit I'm, to do. No, listen. See, here's the thing. Here's the thing. That's an argument that... Me. Fuck off. Not you, someone who's calling me. That it's I respect me. and understand but don't agree with. That's, but that's my feelings on New Horizons because New Horizons is a good video game that's not a good Animal Crossing game. Let me explain why. Because I've never really just explained why. So you're going to have to sit back and relax for a moment because this is going to take- I will take a, a fucking nap. I bet this is going to be complete horseshit. It's not going to be horseshit, but it is going to take several minutes of your time. Animal Crossing is a, is a very compelling life simulation series. And the reason it's compelling is because the player in the game world have a very interesting relationship that is antithetical to how most video games empower their player. Animal Crossing fundamentally has always been about the limitations and what's born out of those limitations when you take away agency from the player. Animal Crossing functions by itself. Your town functions by itself. Its villagers function by themselves. The holidays, the events, the calendar, the clock, it all moves without you. You are a cog in the machine. And what made those games relaxing and compelling and fun is the fact that you weren't in charge. It, wasn't, it was never a god game. It was about being a component of this experience. And, and by extension, you had less agency over your experience. But because of that, it was relaxing to hop in and talk to your villagers and fish and collect bugs and decorate your house and live in a world, not your world, but a world. That's why those games feel fresh and interesting. Now, when you, and now as the series went on, you started getting more ways to influence the world without making it yours. The mayor system is a great example. You gained control over certain facets of the experience, but it never compromised the fact that you are just a piece of the world. It never comp compromised the fact that you are a component of a larger engine that functions without you. Now you look at Animal Crossing New Horizons and New Horizons is a fundamentally different video game. And the reason it's different is because it's more of a crafting survival God game than what Animal Crossing was. And it's still not to the extent of my Sims, but what it is, 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 a, is a casting off of the, of the design philosophy that did not emphasize player agency, but instead emphasized organic world and living. This game, New Horizons, is about agency. It's entirely about agency. They give you more control over every facet of the experience than you've ever had before. From terraforming down to the granular thing of changing how items look, where you can put them, how you can move the villagers, how you can set their houses up and all of that. And on one hand, it makes for a compelling and fun new survival light experience. It is interesting as an Animal Crossing player to see how these design principles have been inverted to give you more control and give you something totally different. But at the, in the process of doing so, you lost what was special because now this, now this is your world and the agency and onus is on you to build it. And for some players, that's compelling. But for me, the, real, the relaxing and laid back aspects of Animal Crossing that were born from that central design philosophy are gone because now you are in charge of setting up literally everything and building up this ground from scratch. You're not the mayor, you're literally the god of this place. You tell animals where they're gonna live, what they're gonna do, where there's gonna be water, you control the air, you control the land, you control fucking everything. And I get why that's compelling for some players, but I think it's also important to remember why Animal Crossing was compelling before, and it was for a fundamentally different reason. Now, that's a lot of my issue. That is the central reason why I cannot connect with Animal Crossing on New Horizons on a principled level. I have played about 30 hours of the game at launch and then another 10 later where I tried to get deeper into it and I just couldn't. Just because this is not the type of game I want out of Animal Crossing. 
At the same time, I think the other area that this game really lets down its player base is in the fact that it it is it is a stripped back version of the feature suite that's been in past Animal Crossing games. If you want to invert the design philosophy, fine, and you want to give us a new experience, fine, but then don't rely on post-launch content to try to bring us closer to what we had before. When the post-launch content is diving in dream suites, things that were supposed to be in Animal Crossing before and pulled out and given to you now, it feels wrong not only because it's recycled content, which should have been there since launch, not only because when you just include one mechanic at a time, it wears out one mechanic when any singular mechanic in Animal Crossing has never been that deep, and three, because then this is, again, a fundamental inversion in game design. Because if Animal Crossing New Horizons, unlike old Animal Crossing games, is all about giving control back to the player and giving you more options, it doesn't make sense then to gatekeep when more features are added to your experience. When everybody gets diving at the same time, that's stripping away the agency that New Horizons wants to give you. When everyone gets dream suites at the same time, that's stripping away the agency that New Horizons wants to give you. It doesn't understand what it wants to be, and the post-launch content shows that. I don't, like, if we got farming systems or we got more things that are in the data mine that suggest another break from convention and more agency for the player, that's one thing. But that's not what we're getting out of the post-launch support. So not only am I frustrated by the way that the core designs Animal Crossing was thrown out the window for something different, I'm frustrated by the way that the post-launch content, A, doesn't service this new design philosophy, and B, only seeks to recycle old content. That's my rant about Animal Crossing New Horizons and why I don't like the game, even though I respect and understand A, its popularity, and B, its quality. Okay, well, you know what? No, I, I, I respect your passion, and I, and I yes. honestly, listening to that, it, it was a, it was a quite a roller coaster for me. You know, yeah. it was like it was like a sine wave. I was, was watching your face as I was saying all that. I I, 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 I was watching my own face, and I I would get a little smirk. I would get a little like this. Uh, you know, it was it was it was quite a sine wave of a ride for me. Correct. There were many things that I understand your points on, and I understand as someone who has not. I have I played plenty of fucking you. All right, I played probably a yes. hundred hours of that game. I'm not a noob to the Animal Crossing series. I don't have the experience of the older games because I just don't own them and never had any interest in them. But I do think that there are things that while your your complaint is an old old a boomer Animal Crossing player, as I'm as, a boomer as, Animal Crossing. I will say that's the word that kept going through my noggin up here. Sure, uh, it is. I understand those points from your perspective, and and they are changes in design design philosophy that I can understand upsetting someone. But I think that the overall uh, appeal of, of video games has changed since uh, the original games came out and as the series progressed to allow you to have more customization and, and more player agency. I think that shows that the, this is the natural progression. Someone keep, this is a random number. Someone fucking called me. All right. Um, is that New Horizons, I believe is the natural progression of the Animal Crossing series and the more modern take that allows, that allows it to be, become more popular and try to expand the series in different ways. Uh, and I do think there are things that I disagree with. The post-launch content being old old content, I think is it's reasonable to be uh, frustrated by. I personally am not. Um, I think that it's, I, I'm finding it enjoyable to have things uh, fed to me after content. That's a weird way to say that, but. I know what you mean. Or give, given to me after, after launch uh, where I can f- focus on them and not only focus on them, but have the new content be given to me and being able to share that experience with everyone else around me and online when diving was released and everyone was talking about oh i just found this oh have you uh done the backflip off the rocks like these new things like finding out how to buy a wetsuit and sharing those designs and stuff like that i think that this game is more focused on the communal aspect of the player base rather than just yourself in the world and when you are everyone is given the same feature at the same time and it's allowed to uh, become a point of interest and and connection. I think that is that's the reason they designed the post launch updates like this. On top of the fact that this game, almost, I, I couldn't tell you for sure, but I think it almost certainly has more new features and overall content than past games. So I think launching it with the focus on the new features and then adding in old features is actually a reasonable design philosophy and allows the world to grow in a different sort of way. I do think that they will be adding bigger content drops that are of entirely new stuff, whether that be farming, like you talked about, or, you know, new plants or new islands, new features, whatever. I think that those are coming. 
and I think there will be a probably a sizable DLC or free DLC drop at some point. But I think that it's not necessarily a bad decision for this game in particular to be giving us old content because it allows the game to grow in an entirely different way and because this is a different experience. And as someone who played New Leaf and enjoyed it but didn't love it, I, through this conversation and listening to your rant, I'm going to remove it from my top 100 of games of all time. I don't think it deserves that honor. Uh, but um, I, I am much more enjoying this game because, because of the player agency. And I think that while it is understandable as, a, uh, as an old, a boomer Animal Crossing player like yourself to, to disagree with that, I think that overall this is a better decision for the series in terms of expanding its popularity, expanding uh, what's possible in it, and keeping it from stagnating. I think that the other games are inherently similar because of the limited design philosophy and Nintendo wanting to reach out to accept new player bases and, and expand popularity of the series. I think this is this is entirely the right move for them and for the overall player base outside of the boomers. It's important to remember that where I come from as a Nintendo fan, my favorite Nintendo game, if I can take it out of my Nintendo 64, Star Fox. is Star Fox 64. <laughs> One thing I will never c contest because I do try to some extent to actually base my opinions in some kind of fact is that I do not represent the minority, the majority of players. <laughs> I do represent the minority is what I'm trying to say, but I fucked it up. Um, I like Nintendo for subverting tr the traditional elements uh, of a genre. I think that's why Splatoon is so fun. Why Splatoon, I think, is Nintendo's crowning modern achievement. Even in light of Breath of the Wild, I think Splatoon is much more important and much more interesting. Ooh. Now that's a discussion to have another time. Holy that's shit. That's a discussion to have another time. But I love when Nintendo, even when, again, another reason why I love Breath of the Wild is that subverts open world tropes. That's not a, Ubi, that's not a Ubisoft type open world game. Um, the way that people talk about Splatoon, Splatoon is not a Call of Duty shooter, right? I like when Nintendo subverts things. The Animal Crossing was always hugely popular, but I think rightfully so, the designers knew that they could get bigger. And the way it got bigger was to, to put it more in line of like what you were saying with trends. And I'm never going to begrudge them for doing that. Mm -hmm. Same way that I think that Metroid Prime should come back and be a more traditional first-person shooter. That's not what those games were, but what Metroid needs is to be a bigger deal than it was. And how you do that is you follow the market trends a little bit closer. So I'm not going to begrudge the Animal Crossing team for the way they designed New Horizons. Because like you were saying, with it being more, it's definitely, it's the, the most community-focused Animal Crossing game we've ever gotten, which is partially a function of when it's come out, not only during quarantine, but in an area where everyone's so fucking connected on social media, and the yeah. Switch is a much more online-friendly device. I would argue barely, but is a more online-friendly device than the 3DS was. Mm -hmm. So I'm never going to say that New Horizons is anything less than an achievement, a strategy achievement, a game design achievement, all of that. But just because it's a great game, doesn't make it A, the Animal Crossing game I want, or B, the trajectory of Animal Crossing I want, yeah. the trajectory of Animal Crossing I wanted the series to follow. Sure. Because I guess I am the boomer Nintendo fan. I love me my fucking Star Fox 64s and my old Animal Crossings and things of that nature. So I get it. At the same time, though, I just think that we need to consider design closely because Nintendo is such a design focused company. They succeed on intrinsic game design. So Sony's got fidelity, they've got storytelling, right? But where Nintendo succeeds is design. Fucking yeah. game design, right? Oh, yeah. so that's why I like talking about Nintendo's game design. And in this case, it's good game design, it's just not the game design I want. So that's kind of where I come down in Animal Crossing New Horizons. And you know, I think this actually might be one of our, one of our best discussions that we have as I, I rip off a, a piece of my chair. Um, is that because not only... Oh, that's a that is a that's a chip. That is a Tostito or a no. Is it Trisket? Triscuits. I got the word. It's an original I, I Trisket. I had seen Triscuits last night. I just forgot the word for it. The reason I think this is one of our better discussions is because a I think it's gonna be a lot shorter. I have no mm -hmm. idea how long we've been recording for, but I think we're Not going long. we're going a lot faster than we usually do, which I think might be a good idea to take uh, our future discussions in. But uh, I think that we both presented good points. 
I was during your fucking impassioned Batman v Superman style rant. Mm-hmm. I was sitting there like, fuck. I am going to have nothing to fire back with. I'm going to look like a moron. But then I realized, no, I do have a, I do have a leg to stand on. I do have facts and, and points to, to bring up. And both of mm-hmm. us presented our arguments in, in compelling ways with reasons behind it. And I think that it actually provided a significantly better uh, discussion because this is one of the first times in our, in our discussions that we've degreed. Disagreed is the word I was looking for there. Yes. Um, it, pretty much fundamentally. And I think that actually led to a, a better thing because I hear your idea or your, your focus on, even though you can have the bullshit opinions, you'll still have something to stand on. Yeah. And I, I will have that in, in my discussions that we discuss in the future, whether that be on movies or games or whatever. I feel like I've kind of been in, I've kind of been the majority for all the discussions that we've had. Um, and, and you know, it'll be fun to, it'll be fun to swap, swap positions if you will yeah, swap a little swap a little intellectual spit as it were ah uh, yeah we'll we'll share plenty of spit in the future but i think that actually i think that wraps up this discussion <laughs> fucking guess it does i think it i think it fucking does all right well thank you very much for watching guys and uh fuck off oh but don't stop recording don't stop recording don't <laughs> stop, look at this look at this look at this look at this, look at this, look at this. My opinion is more valid than yours because I have this. Hold on. That was a diaper. <laughs> That's why I fucking, fucking adult depends. Is that a shopping bag? This is an Animal Crossing New Horizons tote bag mm. that I got from PAX East from mm. a Nintendo employee when I played the game in person pre-release. That makes my opinion better than yours. Stop.